Should you invest in Airbnb? Let's analyze it on growth shares. I'm going to look at six metrics that will give me a better understanding of what kind of company I'm looking at. You see here that they're weighted differently to go along with their importance. Each metric is graded from 0 to 99, with 99 being the upper end of the scale. After that, I'll put everything together to get our company's final grade. There will be quite a bit of info in this video, so I encourage you to pause this video at any time. Intrinsic value. I use a discounted cash flow model to determine the fair value price of our company. While the next five metrics deal with how good of a business we have, the intrinsic value looks at what price we should pay for the stock. I'm obviously looking for a company that's undervalued. That's an intrinsic value at least 17% higher than the company's current stock price. We want that margin of safety just in case our calculations are slightly off. What we find is an overvalued stock. We'll have to look at the other five metrics to see if there's a good business behind this company. Earnings growth. I figure earnings growth through a combination of projected earnings over the next year, over the next 10 years, and then discounted based on the current inflation rate. What I'm looking for is a growth rate of at least 8%. That's not unreasonable and very attainable for a profitable company with room to keep growing. If growth is anything less than that, the other metrics will need to make up for it. I have a growth rate that's average, and that's typical with stable companies out of their growth stage. It isn't bad, it's just average. P.E. Ratio The price to earnings ratio tells me at what multiple the stock is trading at compared to its earnings. I'm looking for a P.E. Ratio of 15 or lower. That's not a hard and fast number based on the type of company, but as a general rule, the lower the better, since the P.E. is a key valuation metric. The P.E. here is a little bit too high for what I'm looking for. We're either looking at a company in a very highly speculative state or in its growth stage. The difference in earning growth is to figure out which is which. Dividends. Dividends are an underappreciated metric when analyzing a company. I'm looking for a dividend yield at least 2.1%. You should get paid for simply owning a piece of the business, or else you're just speculating. That's not investing. The dividend here is basically non-existent. This tells me that the company is in its growth stage, perhaps in speculative territory right now, and money the company makes is being reinvested for growth. Return on equity. Return on equity is profit generated with the money shareholders have invested. I'm looking for an ROE of at least 11.75%. That means the company is putting our hard-earned investment dollars to good use. We see a good ROE meeting at least our minimum. We can attribute that to a high margin business, but also good governance. Free cash flow. This is what's left after a company pays its day-to-day -day operating expenses. We always want a positive free cash flow. I'm looking for a free cash flow of at least $17.75 $17 billion. That's money that can be used to grow our business's market dominance through research and development and acquisitions. We have a meager free cash flow that tells me the company has no dominant position and doesn't have enough free cash in hand to capture any market share. Before we get our company's final grade, consider joining my Patreon. You'll get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Before we get our company's final grade, here's a grade recap of the metrics we've covered. I'm looking for a good company or better. That means there's a good business behind our company and the price is attractive enough for us to buy in right now. Unfortunately, that's not what I see. There are too many substantial issues here that concern me. Either the business isn't that great or the price is just too expensive. This analysis is simple, yet an effective way to get your research started in the right direction. If you have a couple minutes, I'd love to know what kind of investor you are. Take my free survey. I left a link in the description. If not, check out my other analysis videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.